So you wanna learn how to do this effect. Well, the first thing you gotta do is grab your rotor brush, double click your layer, and it will open up a new composition. Before you start rotoscoping, make sure your quality is at full right here. And then you just wanna start at the first frame and start rotoscoping out your subject. Now, quick tip while you guys are rotoscoping, if you guys wanna remove a selection from the rotor brush, you can just hold down Alt on your keyboard and it will remove any selection that is not around your subject. So right here, I can just hold down Alt and you can see it does a pretty good job around the wheel there. So once you finish rotoscoping out your first frame, you can just go frame by frame, make sure that your rotor brush does not mess up. All right, so the rotor brush did a super good job on this one and I didn't have to make any corrections at all. So what I can do is just go right here, freeze it and it will freeze all my rotor brush frames. Now that that's finished, we can just close our composition there. Now we're back into our main comp. So now what we wanna do is duplicate this layer, hit control D on the bottom layer, delete your rotor brush. And on this bottom layer here, you wanna go to your effects and presets and search up wave warp and drag this onto your bottom clip. Change the wave type to smooth noise, change the wave height to zero, change the width to around 100 and make the wave speed 0.5. Now you wanna hit a keyframe for your wave height at the very start of your frame here. Go to the middle, make this 60, then go to your very end and make that back down to zero. Then what we wanna do is select all our keyframes, hit F9, go into our graph editor and make a graph that looks something like this. I'm a pound, what this 40 got and if your graph doesn't look like this, you just want to make sure that you are in auto selected graph type. Now the next effect that we want to go ahead and add is called turbulent displace. Bring this onto our bottom clip. We want to change the size to 80, bring the amount to zero, keyframe the amount at the very start of your frame once again, go to the middle, bring this up to 100, go to the very end, bring that back down to zero, then hit U once or twice until you can bring up your turbulent displace keyframes. Select those, F9, go into your graph editor and make the same graph that we did for the last one. Now the last effect that we wanna go ahead and add is called displacement map. Bring this onto our clip once again, change the horizontal displacement to zero, make sure warp pixels around is checked and keyframe the vertical displacement at zero at the start of your timeline, then go to the middle, keyframe that to 300 go to the very end keyframe that back down to zero select all your keyframes hit f9 to easy ease them once again go into the graph editor and make the same graph that we've done for the past two effects and there you go that's how you create this trippy warped effect gotcha.